One of the ways that we like to help our children apply their school studies to real life is to relate weights and measures to common everyday items. And one of the best places to do this activity is in the produce section of our local grocery store. It is here, at least in most groceries, that parents have access to a scientific instrument that they most likely don't have in their homes, the hanging scale. The idea behind using that hanging scale is to help your children develop some general understandings of pounds and kilograms by having them estimate how much things weigh. Now I could take this bag of apples, put it in my cart, and be on my way. But how much longer would it take for me to turn this into a learning experience for Tally as well? Tally, take this bag. How much do you think that bag of apples weighs? I don't know, two pounds maybe? Maybe two pounds? Well, let's see what the scale says. All right, what does that say? A little bit over three pounds. A little bit over three pounds, exactly. And if your hanging scale happens to be graduated into ounces, you could also weave in the idea of there being 16 ounces to a pound, which means eight ounces would be half a pound, and so on. But remember, you come to the grocery store together possibly quite often, so you don't have to weave in every single learning experience all in the same day. Your main objective here is just to help your children develop that sense of feel for different weights and measures. All right, let's try this with bananas. Tally, would you get me a bunch of bananas? All right, do you think that bunch is heavier or lighter than our bag of apples? Lighter. Okay, well, I think it's probably lighter. Let's see what it says. All right, what does that say? A little bit over two and a half pounds. Yeah, so it is lighter. And of course, you can turn this into a game as well to see which one of you can come closer to guessing the correct weight of various items. You can also use this hanging scale to help your children develop benchmarks. So let's take a one gallon bottle of water, put it on the scale, and find out how much that weighs. Well, Tally, you tell me, do you think this bottle is lighter or heavier than our bag of apples? Heavier. How much heavier do you think it is? About twice. Maybe twice as much? All right, well, let's see. All right, what does that say? Uh, close to eight pounds. Okay, yep. So a gallon of water weighs approximately eight pounds. So go ahead and take this and get a feel for it and know that that's approximately eight pounds. Now that's a great benchmark for her to know because no matter where she is in the world, a gallon of water is going to weigh approximately eight pounds. And so a quart of water, which is one fourth of a gallon, is going to weigh approximately two pounds. And a pint of water, which is half of a quart, is going to weigh approximately one pound. Just as the English used to say many years ago, a pint is a pound the world around. All right, Tally. Our recipe calls for one pound of broccoli. So let's go find the broccoli and you tell me what you think is one pound's worth. <laughs> 